Good morning and good morning to you Goggle Froggers. Hope you have a wonderful Saturday. And now we have the wonderful Robert joining us as well. Good morning, Hello. Robert. How are you? Did you Hello. just like, You're plug right. in and start the session straight away? I did because there was no one else there. Oh. Oh, and then you just oh, well, it. So we promise a few things. We promise chat, laughter, and potentially technical issues or glitches. We didn't know both of us were there. So anyway, we're all here now, I aren't we? So um, yes. Yeah, so one thing that you, well, two things that you will need. You'll need a cup of tea or glass of something. It is Saturday morning here in the UK, so there's no alcohol this morning. Hope you've brought your knitting or your crochet or um, something, but whatever it is, hopefully it's not too complicated because it's really easy to make a, a mistake when you're chatting, chatting, chatting. So anyway, it's Saturday. Um, I hope you've had a lovely, lovely week. It's the week after, it's the week after Easter, so for those of you who are working, it's been a four day week for some of you. And then for other people, it's been a long week because Easter can be huge. It can be lots of shopping, etc. So for some people, Easter is really, really difficult. So, um, but yeah, so we're now on our way to summer. Absolutely. Oh, and shops opening. Is Monday, that Monday? Yeah, Non-essential retail. Wow. So on Monday, we're going to have some shops open that haven't been there. Can you believe it? Only in this pandemic, the week before Christmas, just when you were going to go in and buy all of those gifts for people and for yourself, they shut everything down. So we haven't had any shops to walk around for shoes, for clothes, for, oh, who knows, makeup, kitchenware, wool. So everything's been online only. And this week, well, this coming week, you're going to be able to do some normal things. The world has not gone back to normal, but there'll be some normal things happening. So, um, yeah. So I've done a few stitches, but that's while I was waiting for 10 o'clock. <laughs> I don't know how much I'll get done. Oh, so um, I don't know if there are some glitches because when I first tried to log in, I was getting all code um, and then I logged out and logged back in and it looked okay, but no one else was there. So I logged back out again. So I don't know if they're getting ready to do the second final upgrade for Demio, the platform that we use. So let's just see. So apologies if you've had a few problems trying to get in. So, uh, how's your week been? Uh, anyway? Yeah, mine's been uh, okay, thank yeah. you. How about good eat, good eat. That was my first sip of tea of the oh, day. Wow. So I, um, yeah. So what happens in this house is first of all, splodgy dodgy gets fed, of course. Um, then, Mum and Alan get breakfast in bed. And then I make my own. So I had a beautiful big bowl of 10% Greek yogurt with strawberries, melon, banana, um, honey, and cinnamon on top. So I love that. I really, really love that. But I, I can't have yogurt with something hot. So that's my first cup of tea. So here we go. Mm. So shall we say something? Good yeah, morning. Yes, I'm just putting something on the Facebook page in case other people are trying to get in as well. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Thank you very much. So, uh, good morning, Tricia. Lovely to see you. And I bet you've had your morning walk. Um, good morning, Marion. Lovely to see you. Is Ollie with you? Um, good morning, Louise. Lovely to see you too. And good morning, Linda E. How are you doing? Um, and I uh, hope, you're, hope you're feeling okay. Uh, hello, Janice. Good morning to you. Lovely to see you. And hello, Jackie. Again, lovely to see you. Have you been running again? You normally have been running. running. Um, good morning, Grace. Absolutely lovely to see you. Haven't seen you for a little while. So uh, thank you so much for stopping by and spending the morning with us. Good morning, Deborah. Has the camper van been out? So that's what we want to know. 
and good morning, Brigitte. How are you doing? And um, lovely to see you too. And I'm sure that there will be other people joining because I think we've got a few um, techie glitches. Um, but you know us, we'll carry on regardless. <laughs> I think it's the, the way. Oh, so uh, yeah, so hopefully if you've had a lovely week. Uh, while you're doing that, do you want me to catch up on chat? Uh, yeah, sorry. I'm sorry. I promise I'll be with you soon. Don't worry. Don't worry. We know what it's like. He is in the mega headquarters. He's in the office. <laughs> he's got big screens here. He's got big screens there. He's got laptops. He's got PC. So he's really in the zone. So don't worry. Um, good. Uh, Brigitte has reminded us it's episode 219. So on Monday, it's 220. But then, do you know what happens then? Next Saturday, it will be 222. All the twos. That's amazing. Um, so I'm one of those people. I think, Brigitte, you are as well. You look for number orders. Um, and when my car hit 10,000, I had to take a picture. So it, it, it's sort of little things like that. Uh, so anyway, we're nearly on to 222, which will be really amazing. So uh, thank you for reminding us. It's episode 219. Oh, just to say, we've got a chat box. Please, if this is your first um, time with us, say hello. Um, and for those of you who are watching us on replay, hello, you won't be able to see the chat box, which is why we read it out so you know what we're all chatting about. And if you're watching us on YouTube as well, hello. And um, again, this is why we uh, read the chat box out. And we also have a Facebook group. If you're not part of it yet, it's, it's Craft and Natter um, on Facebook. <laughs> Goggle Frogs, Craft and yes. Natter. All right. Goggle frogs crafting that. Sorry about that. <sighs> you don't think I've been awake since fall, would you? Actually, you would. You can tell. Um, Trisha says, oh, my word. Morning from a very snowy Yorkshire. What is happening with our April weather? Um, yesterday, it was brilliant sunshine in the morning. Put all the washing out. And then it went to torrential rain. So the washing is still there trying to, uh, to dry out. And now the snow in Yorkshire. Wow. Grace says, good morning. Uh, lovely to see you. Um, Deborah says, morning all. Oh, Trisha says, Mo love the shawl. Yeah, I, it was one that I did in uh, lockdown, and, and I do love this shawl. I, I really do. Stylecraft, Batik Swirl, one ball, amazing. Um, so, um, yes, thank you. It, it's one of those that I will probably have to go and buy another ball of this and make another one because I know it won't last forever um, and in 10 years time I'll still be trying to wear this holy shawl that's been um, you know patched up everywhere so it, it's as well to buy another ball and stick it in the stash somewhere uh, so Linda says good morning everybody uh, Louise said good morning everyone Marion says good morning uh, Linda says I won't forget this Easter I bet you won't Linda uh, it's been a rather uneventful um easter for many people and it's been very variable as well hasn't it for all of us uh, jackie says morning all finally got in after several attempts so sorry about that jackie um now this next message is just amazing so janice says hairdresser on monday whoopee i know you can tell can't you look at least i know i'm not gray but it, it's sort of all brown that's the colour I like to be. That's the colour I like. <sighs> Next Saturday, I got mine done. So, um, yeah, I'll be the same colour again. You just can't believe it, can you? I mean, normally, uh, it, we're got to have my roots done, got to have my roots, roots done every six to eight weeks. And now, because everyone's in the same boat, we've got no issue in walking around with these huge, great roots. <laughs> so, but... I know the hairdresser is just such a lovely thing. I can't wait to get that. Me and hubby are going on the same day. So I'm having mine, my colour done, then my coat, and then he's going to my hairdresser because his has left. He only goes once a year. Um, so, um, yeah, that will be an interesting cut. So Marion says, Ollie has joined us. So Ollie's obviously heard Robert. And Ollie is the biggest dog you've ever seen in the world. And Ollie's dog head is like this big he's huge but he's the softest 
dog he is. ever. He's lovely. Um, he is beautiful. So Georgie says, morning, love your shawl, Angela. It is so easy. It really is. I, do you know what? I should just do these all the time and give them away as presents because uh, they're just so lovely. Um, it's a bit chilly. Back door has to be open because Flod doesn't decide whether to be in or out. Um, and it's just, so I'm sat next to the radiator. I've got this on, so I'm nice and toasty now. Oh my word, Grace is finally all moved into your new house. Congratulations, we didn't realise you were moving. So fabulous, that's lovely. So are you all settled and you all, are you all enjoying it? Um, I bet you are. So that's fabulous when you get moved in. And then you realise how much you've actually got to do, don't you? <laughs> when you suddenly think, I didn't realise that was that big, or I didn't realise that was that small. <laughs> so uh, we've got all those lovely things to do. And 11 years later, we haven't done hardly anything. You know, ours, ours has just all been foundation work. So um, never mind. Tracy says, morning, managed to get out of going to football. Yeah. <gasps> That's amazing. <laughs> Giving up the will to live, trying to get through to my hairdressers. Oh, no. Um, Mine... Mine had a, a, a wait list and um, they knew the people that, that had they had had to cancel. So those people went in first and then they had an online app as well um, that was released once they'd made sure every single customer who was a regular who had been cancelled was booked in. So that's really nice of them. Um, st speed, can you not get, we don't have a landline that does this, but you know the landline when you pay 10p or something through BT and it's, you press a number and it keeps on trying to redial them, that might be the good thing to do. Um, but I hope you get through to them. Louise says, oh, thank you. Shaw's lovely, Angela. I thought I recognised it as my daughter has just made a scarf in the same colour. I just, these colours are just the most amazing. It's the green. And, and as I put this green top on today, I thought I've got to have the shawl on as well. So, um, yeah, yeah, really love it. Um, Deborah says, um in answer to your question the camper hasn't been out this week as shielding ended for me on 31st of march we have been able to have our daughter and her four little girls with us for the week oh that is so lovely daughter is sadly divorced with so a support bubble with us um isn't it amazing that we can have support bubbles for people who need us um and that is what is i think the only saving grace that we can be there for people who need us um, so it's been a lovely, if exhausting, week. They are off home this morning. I bet that has been lovely. And can you imagine, well, I bet everybody can imagine four little girls with a different human being to um, speak to because we don't realise this is really unusual yeah. for children as well, isn't it? Like, they, they don't do normal things that they're used to, like running outside and playing with the neighbours' children and everybody down the street. So they must have had such an exciting time. And I bet your daughter, it was amazing for her just to be able to sit back and have 30 winks every so often, knowing that there's somebody else there to help. So absolutely wonderful. So I bet you had an amazing week. Um, and Amber, hello, New York. Hello, Amber. And uh, so hello Amber, uh, hello everyone, all of you have been missed and you have been missed too Amber and how is um, Princess Curtain Crusher, is she there as well? So I, I have no idea where Spodger Dodgy is, I think um, outside. <laughs> and Anne says morning everyone, lovely Shawl Angela, thank you ever so much, just say it's Starcraft Batik Swirl and a really simple pattern with pom-poms, although that pom-pom got stuck in my car door so it's still in the car waiting to be sewn back on but that's what the pom-poms look like so I, might, I made one a little one for my little niece half the size and she loves it because when I went around there she really loved it and I thought this is just too big so I just made it half the size with just one colour of each um, and she loves that uh, so um, uh, Deborah says yes they've been able to see their cousins for the first time in ages this week isn't it amazing that just seeing people seeing family has been excluded from us for so long um, yeah it, it's just amazing um, the fact that let's hope we're getting back to normal um, I think it's going to be a long time until I can go to Belgium <laughs> because um 
well, at the moment, and I'm going to touch wood, we're making progress. But who knows? Um, we're just hoping we've got everything crossed that these vaccinations are going to do the trick for us. Um, so if that's the case. If we've got everything done, then that means that our lives are absolutely going to be going back to normal. I can't wait to be able to go in somewhere and not have to socially distance. But I think when I'm in shops, I'm going to insist on it because I don't like being that close to people I don't know anyway. <laughs> So some parts of it I've absolutely loved, um, but I don't like having to be that distant from people that I know and love. So, uh, yeah, the world is going back to normal, which is amazing. Um, and Amber says, uh, beautiful, Charl Angel, thank you very much. Uh, Robert, what are you making? Princess Curtain Crusher says hello. Yeah, I don't know where Spodgy Dodgy is. She'd say hello as well, uh, but she's pretty hard to um, try and tame. Oh! I didn't tell you this morning, um, I suddenly thought, oh, is Splodge ill? Um, I, was, I, was, I was sat on the settee, I'd just come downstairs, and she started treading. We've got this um, sheepskin rug, rug, and when we first got it, she was petrified of it. But now she realised to sit there and start treading on a night time, and she'll sit there treading for about 15 minutes. Well, this morning, she started treading. And she was making a weird noise. I thought, oh, no, she's got a breathing problem. What do I do? And then I realised that it's the first time she's ever tried to purr. So out of, after eight and a half years with this little feral, um, she's now learned to meow. Only when she wants to go out if the door's shut. And she will give this loud meow now. Uh, but it was her way of trying to purr. So in the end, it sounded more like a purr, but at first I thought she was choking or there was something wrong. So, uh, yeah, so little Splodgy Dodgy is making um, progress. So, uh, yeah, really good. So, anyway, enough about me. What about you, Robert? Yeah, counting. Sorry. We never ask a question when sorry. counting. I, I keep <laughs> thinking these colours are so close to each other. Um, I keep thinking I'm slipping the wrong stitch um but uh yes i'm fine thank you um it's been um what's my week been like it's been okay um yeah, yeah. nothing major Good. happened i don't think um works work um yeah that's about it oh so um i haven't done much crafting Neither have I. Um, but yeah. Um, shall we use the natural pause to play the music for this morning? Oh, yeah. I have rubbled on, that's haven't right, I? That's fine. Um, well, look, I was sort of were, time. Yeah, you were, because I was nice. slightly distracted. We were trying to help people in, because yeah. sometimes when Robert's mad on his phone and stuff like that, it's because he's trying to help people. Yeah. <laughs> um, right, so today's music then. Uh, something nice and tranquil for a Saturday morning uh, to help you relax after possibly a very stressful long week. Here we go. That was, um, so he's called Rimba Jams or something like that. And um, I just happened to stumble across this in my weird and wonderful looking in youtube for unusual music um and i came across it and i thought wow and what i really liked about that was how the harp and the pipes changed vocal changed where the vocals were supposed to be um, yeah. and it was just flawless the way it did it and he does so many other things as well so yeah, really? Yeah. yeah oh, my word. Can, can we have that put in the Facebook group? Is it a YouTube? Uh, it is. Are we allowed to do that? We can. We can post a link. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. I would. We can definitely share a link, only because I think it's so fantastic. I'm just going to have that on replay all day. Okay. I will have a quick look now for him then, and post it. Thank you. Very, very, very seldom do I ever, ever, ever enjoy music that I thought that was fantastic. Unbelievable. Um, and I think I've told this story before. There's, 
maybe somebody else knows what they are, but it's like um, an upturned walk that people play. Yeah. Um, and one year I was in Bruges and me and my husband walked past um, and there was this guy playing. And I just said, this is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to buy a CD and I'm like, oh, just get it on the way back. I said, no. So I paid me 10 or 20 euros, got this C CD, um, walked down. About an hour later, we came back, the guy gone. So I would never, ever, ever have been able to get his uh, CD if I hadn't bought it. But uh, sometimes it's just, wow, that is so different. Because they haven't, they have changed the, the Orinoco flow, haven't they? It, it's not the same as when, and, and you did it, there are, um, they have changed where the, the notes are and where some of the music yeah. like, starts and stops. So it was really good, amazing. Uh, right, posted. Thank That's you. Fine. Uh, although I've just realised I've posted, posted, and not put anything in it. Okay. Um, this was the small thing. We do these things, don't we? This is a normal Saturday. Oh, but bless, we we can go and have a lie down. But Robert's got it. Yeah, it's all right. I am. I was going to say I am slightly distracted. I'm trying to finish part one of a two-part project for work and i um i've been doing silly hours to try and get it ready for monday and uh i've been working on it since seven o'clock this morning and i'm not supposed to start work till half past 11. <laughs> oh so, um, so it's nice to actually pick some knitting up although i only did about 20 stitches and put it back down again but that's really nice mm. isn't it <laughs> so Oh, can I just say that when I was looking in the in the group the other day, there has been a post shared, and you know who you are, who has posted a link for a pattern for a bumblebee bag, <laughs> but it's in crochet. So um, it is one no. of those patterns. No. I thought I'd... No, you are not doing it. <laughs> so I just thought, oh my word, I can't believe it. I could just got to buy the pattern, but I know that you can't just buy a pattern can you when it takes you into la Ravelry you go down all of these little Ravelry places that you've never seen before um, so I thought I probably need to do that tomorrow when I've got an hour <laughs> so um, yeah so I do love looking at different patterns um, the, the only thing that I would say is crochet I don't get as excited about crochet as I do about knitting, but that bag didn't look too huge. So it's not like a big crochet blanket or something, is it? But um, I did love that pattern. So thank you very much. Um, and I've seen loads of brioche type things as well. And I think I've never done brioche in my life, so maybe I should just have a go. But I think I just need to keep finishing thing off. Um, if you think about it, I think at the moment I'm managing about two hours of knitting a week. Um, <laughs> so, so I don't think I have the time to learn brioche. Um, so, yeah. Oh. Which grower? The, do you know what? The other thing as well, um, when, when you do it, when you're doing a really simple pattern, I don't know if anyone else does that. Just put a stitch marker on the end of where the back pattern starts, just so you know what row you're on. Because when you look at something like that, you have no idea what you're supposed to do. Because it's just like, um, well, it's a bit of a lazy pattern, isn't it? Um, so we always put that on the bottom. And I'm sure everybody else does. But just my little tip that I have to live by when it's a two row repeat. So I know what's row one and what's row two. So there we go. And it, it, this is my pattern on a little post-it note, the two-row pattern. Because when I bought the pattern, it was about 10 pages long. And I just don't know why this pattern is 10 pages long. Like, that's all I've needed. <laughs> so I will continue like that. Uh, so about the music, sorry, I just uh, went off. Um, so a little comment about, oh, that's so lovely that Slodgy's trying to purr. She must be very happy. Yes, you are, aren't you, Dumpling? Yeah, she's coming in now. Um, uh, so, um, yeah, she's sat there. She's very happy with us. Um, Brigitte says, love that song. Beautiful version. It is. Has anybody heard that version before? Because I know no. I haven't. 
Uh, Trisha says, amazing use of drain pipes. Are they drain yeah, pipes? They I don't yeah. know. What Wow. They were the, the um, brown ones though, not the black ones. So they're the they're the wider ones, which is where I think you get the nice yeah. deep sound from. Got no idea. Tells you um, black just ones as well. Oh right, uh, no. okay. Um and, and Louise says, is this music Orinoco flow. Yes, it is. Well done. Um, Amber says, lovely music. Uh, Georgie, that was lovely. I will be singing the song in my head mm. all day. Snap. Um, yeah, Marion says, that was lovely. Um, Jack says, how lovely and soothing. First time hearing this version. I've never heard that before. Amazing. Never even heard of whoever they are. Um, Deborah says, I remember that tune from the Moods album back in the 80s. We had it on we had it on tape and I used to play it all the time in the car and I bet you used to play it but you used to hit rewind to the beginning and play that song so there parts of the tapes that practically got worn out didn't they um and then Jack says have to go now must post some birthday cards have a lovely week weekend see you on Monday bye 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 so have a lovely weekend oh there's um when I hear Enya or that type of music i always think of tubular bells um and there's a video that i'm trying to get hold of in fact it's here but I, uh, it, uh I, it's a group that i saw at the fringe once and it's tubular bells for two uh and it's two people i don't know if you can see there there's two people playing right two, the whole of tubular bells for an hour just two of them and there are like almost a hundred instruments in tubular bells and it's just amazing the two of them doing it um so I'm trying to get really? that somehow um for you guys to have a look at um because i think it's just gorgeous mm. marion where's mine <laughs> 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 that have you got another ring no, to go down? No, 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 no. I, I was joking. <laughs> Marion Thrington's order has just arrived. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> Wonderful. Hey, hey, I tell you what, last night we popped, me and my mum, we popped to Marx's. We needed to get more cat food as well, so you know who. And uh, we popped into Marx's. So last night we had their, they do like a seafood platter with prawns and I think it's mackerel and um, crab pate. Do you know what we sat here and we ate all of it between the two of us and we just left a little bit of the crab pate. So I thought, you know what, I'll put it down because there's a bit of salmon left, a bit of crab pate left. So I'll put it on the floor. I thought, there you go, Splodge. And Splodge is just like, what is this? Uh, no, I want my chicken dinner out for packets. So I then had to run out and give... Um, splodge proper cat food but honestly it was delicious really really nice so i had a lovely tea last night and um yeah and i did do, i haven't had bread for ooh, probably about four weeks so i had a piece of bread with it as well although i only hit, ate about half of it it was just really nice on its own other than for the pate it was delicious so i had a really nice dinner last night um no idea what we're going to have tonight. Um, uh, Ollie, had, Ollie had to go to see the postman. Oh, that's good. Very sociable is Marion's um, little cat. A dog. <laughs> little dog. Huge dog. Sorry. Yeah. Put cats on the brain. Died rats. You just can't in. get enough of them. <laughs> huh? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> Uh... Do you know what? I can't believe that we had so much lovely weather. And I, I was thinking, do you know what? It would be lovely to sit in the garden, do a little bit of knitting with a little bit of sun. I don't think that's going to happen today. And I got all excited thinking, oh, the shops are open today. So maybe if I can go to, we've got um, a pub, Tracy, you know the one. Um, there's a pub in Wing, and on a Saturday morning, they have a fruit and veg man in the car park. They've got butcher person there. They've got, um, a li the, honestly, the landlady makes the most amazing croissants, almond croissants, you name it, and bread. 
sourdough, etc., that you can order in advance, or there's some on the day. So I thought, oh, we can go there, sit in the garden, have a coffee, and buy some of these things. Totally forgetting that nothing's open today. It opens on Monday. So, um, yeah, so on Monday, so next weekend, after Goggle Frogs, I may actually try and um, do something nice. Oh, I've gone wrong. You can't. No, I haven't. No, I haven't gone wrong. I've gone wrong on the previous rule, so I just need to... say Monday correct. or Saturday? Monday. Oh, sorry. Everything opens on Monday, so the next Saturday I'll be able to do stuff. Yeah, sorry. I thought I was going, not paying attention. So I'm try now trying. Somebody has just politely reminded me that I'm supposed to be doing Joyful June. <laughs> Hello, Marion. <laughs> Hello. I just thought I'd show you what the Rington's man delivered. Oh, okay. Because oh, really? he's a brand new. <laughs> I thought you were coming on because I was barely contributing and Angela's struggling. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Um, a uh, biscuit jar. Doesn't hold oh, many jar. Oh, just hold it up a little bit hot. That's nice. Doesn't hold many biscuits, oh, though. Wow. But it's very nice. And Lovely. This is a taste test. Um, white chocolate and lemon cookies, mm -hmm. uh, which are seasonal. Uh, I've only bought two packets of these. So if I don't like them, I know somebody that might like white chocolate um, who isn't too far away from here. <laughs> um, oh, Tracy saw them. Um, they've stopped doing the chocolate ginger. Right. Let, oh, they're not very big. Ollie's very interested. Of course, Let's have a look. interested. Is that the lemon and white chocolate? That you're trying mm. are they good mm. <laughs> very good but you thought you were here for for um what is it well you're actually here for anything and everything biscuits I is there anything better? they'd be sweeter than they are i was a bit worried that the white chocolate would make them a bit sweet and sickly but the lemon offsets it really well well that's good um i got marmalade because i gave a very dear friend a jar <laughs> um, <laughs> um so Try i them them on. and i phoned them to check that they had stuff in stock before i ordered which is how i came to be on the phone have you got such and such in stock yeah right how much have you got right i'll have <laughs> that's how my telephone conversation went with Rington's on the other Wednesday. Um, and to find oh. out what they had coming along. Um, and she didn't know at the moment. Oh. So yeah, they've, they've got a bit... There's a bit of a coconutty hint to these as well. Let's see. Oh, they're gluten-free as well. Gluten-free oat flour. White chocolate chunks, sugar, cocoa butter, whole milk powder, uh, vanilla flavoring, uh, milk, corn flour, soya flour, raising agents, a bicarbonate of soda, lemon oil. Doesn't mention coconut, but. Oh, Richard's just yelled up. They just sound fattening to me. <clears throat> so they're gluten-free, dear. Thank you so much. That gives me a perfect excuse to order something, does. doesn't it? Oh, wow. Do you know what? Yes. The message is getting out there. Do you know what? Gluten-free people can spend money. <laughs> you make us nice stuff. And the discount code you gave us is still working. Yeah remember that folks mm -hmm. because i dread to tell you how much i spent this time richard doesn't know luckily it's my credit card pardon you've got an idea he says <laughs> <laughs> oh that's so funny mm -hmm. so so funny right uh yeah it's yarn over afterwards it's right, the oat to... flour that gives it that coconutty sort of texture yeah yeah 
and corn flour makes it crispy as well so Tracy, it's, uh, you only get the code next time you oh i hope i can say this when, when um i got the code when i purchased from their birthday party so i think you need yeah. to speak nicely to we we got the ringtons code didn't we discount code yeah, yeah. From it wasn't birthday birthday we were too busy drinking it was it was the last was, sales yeah, was, event that yeah, we did when we were doing the marble so there should have been a um a discount code for you if you placed an order you should have got one if you've lost it um let us know um all right tracy just wants the code thank you um tracy she likes my hair this length i can't make up my mind I like it that length. I think it's getting to a stage again whereby it's okay because it went, it goes in stages. Okay. Oh my God, what is this mess doing? And then okay again. And it's at an okay stage at the moment. Yeah. Um, right. Right. I really like your hair. Thank you. So but it's nice, short, it's nice, long um whatever people's hair has just grown into a brand new style in these locks lockdowns hasn't it <laughs> hello ollie bolly oh it's ollie there yes well he smelt biscuits and he can't have them it's chocolate isn't it oh um right uh sorry folks uh right facebook yeah that's what i'm just about to do and put my knitting away because i'm not getting any more done <laughs> <laughs> I've made three errors in three in three rows. I've corrected them; it's fine. But that's what happens when you no, no Wally, you can't have them. Right? Okay. So Facebook. So folks, sorry, I was busy typing away, which while Marion and Angela were chatting, uh, I did promise on Wednesday that we would have the launch of Joyful June by today. Uh, and Joyful June, thank you, Marion, for the subtle reminder, has just launched. <laughs> Uh, what, what's just launched? Joyful June. So the idea oh, is right. just very quickly, you have two weeks to pop your name into the event, for part one, and that will tell me that you would like to have a yarn pal. What you'll then have by the 1st of May is the details of your yarn pal so that you can start talking to each other. By the end of May, what we would like you to do is to send your yarn pal a parcel for um i've decided angela sorry i didn't talk to you about it but we're going to open these parcels on the 2nd of june as part of goggle frogs um okay. and uh that parcel will be um something to get them through the last three weeks of what will hopefully be the end of this horrible 18 months um it must contain yeah. something woolly though for your yarn pal because they are a yarn pal but whatever else you want to put in them is entirely up to you you can package it any way you want to. Um, just put your name in there uh, and I will start collating the details. Okay? Um, Yay! Brilliant. Um, any questions, just please uh, let me know. Um, Tracy, just uh, need to get some buttons. You used the cake that I had. Oh, wow. Oh, that looks lovely. Oh, is that for you? really nice tracy beautiful um beautiful there's colors. a link into this morning's music thank That's you fine. um oh this oh um so actually i'm gonna skip i'm gonna go down to this one so this is uh oh you can't see it uh this is a knit along i found for a lovely on track blanket um and i know there are some people out there who detest on track there are some people out there who love on track um i've dabbled mm, um i don't think i have the confidence to be able to do this yet but um grace has done it and this is what it looks like when it's finished it's amazing it's beautiful isn't it and on track is designed to look like woven strips together but actually all you do is pick up stitches to make these uh individual blocks 
Yeah, I understand the technique, but can I do it? Can I echo his line? Um, so somebody in the um, original group um, posted that actually it was relatively easy. Um, so there we go. I th oh, that's just stunning. That's beautiful. I love the colours they've used as well. Yes, definitely. Uh, so is, is it like a, a blanket or, or is it filled? It's a blanket. So it, it's one side because that looks really like it must be with all of the little oh. things. It looks so thick, doesn't it? It's, it's, it, it looks as if it's been made into a yeah. quilt, but it not, it's not it just how, how all of those little bubbles sort of yeah. sit. It's amazing. Um, oh, my God. I had I'd, I I had no idea. Can you believe it's been a whole year since the online war show? Oh my so God. this time last year we were sitting here having goggles, jumping in and out of it. I was screaming and shouting about all the fantastic bargains there were. Uh, I, d I had no idea, folks, and sorry, I'm, I've got to go to work. So uh, you're on your own. <laughs> you're going to have to go and look for yourself. <laughs> what is it today? today and tomorrow. Wow. Um, Trisha, not properly blocked yet, but wanted to get a pick before I soak them. Love the interlude, Jan. Next socks will be Chevron pattern. Linda Phillips is working on. So this is interlude. Oh my God, Angela, that's interlude. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh wow. Lovely. That looks like, like you think no. it would. That oh, is really incredible. I love that. I love the stock block stock blockers. Yes. They're, they're so cute. So so cute. Um, Trisha has shared a sheepy top uh, oh. order. Uh, Georgie has shared uh, Diana knits. Uh, you may love the hat. Oh. Now make the sweater. Three through to eight twelfths. So that's lovely. Um, Rebecca, after Linda's kind comments, I thought I'd share you a photo of tonight's tea. Couscous with griddled vegetables and halloumi. Very nice and also quick to make. Fabulous. Uh, Marion, taken outside the L&D. Um, an Easter topper on the post box. Oh, how lovely. Definitely. I've joined the group that um, make those. I have. have you? Uh, and it's not just those they make they do lots of other stuff and basically what they what they do is they um come up with themes for, for little projects and you just randomly leave them in places for other people to find and that's how they're getting their followers oh so how do you find with the group name ah <laughs> um by finding it i guess <laughs> <laughs> okay how did you find it um, um oh, i think that would be cheating uh, i'll tell you what i'll do the next time i see a post from them i will share it yes and then uh people can look from there um uh Marion has posted, I can't clean my craft room because I get distracted by all the good stuff I find again. Definitely. Oh, and here is the bag that Angela was talking about. Just Queen look at that. bag. Lovely. It really is stunning. It's, it's beautiful, but as soon as I clicked on it, there were other things around it. I thought, oh, I've got to try everything. <laughs> uh, I think we showed this before. It's lovely. We've shown that before. We've shown that before. Uh, Trish has shared um, a book about Gansey knitting. Oh. Uh, and you can pre order the book. So that's good. Uh, there's the Chevron socks that Trish is about to start. They're no, just. Uh, Georgie, I just want to crochet pretty things and get enough sleep. Yep, I agree. Uh, Rebecca has ordered a bag to keep her knitting in while she's 
uh, outside uh, and has invited one of her friends to join us. Uh, I think we may. Oh, did we did we get to know those little coaster things? Yeah. Did we get to know what they were, Deborah? Because um, are they coasters? Are they? The face, face scrubbies. They are face scrubbies. Yeah. That that's the thing. Yeah. So that's just cotton and little face scrubbies that will last I forever. I think so. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I think so. I love them. I, Absolutely love I them. think we're all caught up. If I've missed anything, folks, please do shout in the comments in the chat sorry and we will uh, mm. sort it out for you uh right brigitte my hair is at a can't do anything with it stage hairdresser on tuesday or will enjoy uh tracy just had a brain moment found my little package that came in my order haven't turned over the yellow card have the coat now thanks uh and says she's done an entrelac jumper in the past pale pink pale blue pink and white very warm in the winter did slash neckline need time to do another one uh oh. louise is going so she says have a good week bye louise bye. oh what's the matter you know what? stitch. no uh, these these needles are amazing because i've got to be careful what i say they hold the 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 wool really well but whenever I um what's the matter with Robert? I, I don't know Robert what's Nothing, wrong? it's fine. Yeah. Are you sure? Yep, yeah, sorry. Okay. We'll no, no, it's back. fine. I forgot to do something for a goggle frog. Don't worry, it's fine. Oh, it's okay. We were panicking. No. <sighs> um, whenever it it would be easier to be on circulars, I think for this stitch, but I can't because all of my circulars they fly off the end. So these are the best ones because they they do stick the the, the stuff on. So um, are they all fashioned arrows? They are. What size? Are they, are they? What size? Um, five and a half. Damn, I've got some old fashioned aero circulars, would you believe? But not five and a halves. I don't like no. them, so I don't use them. So you could it, it's just the they they have a totally unique plastic coating. Yes, that they do. Slip off. Yeah. But on the circulars, like the plastic is just so harsh and hard and um but well, with the arrows uh, circulars, the needle part is, as you say, sticky. But then there are the wires, but the wires are quite stiff. So you'd have to put them in warm water to get them malleable in any case. Well, yeah. Not bad work for so, oh, a Saturday morning. That's really good. Um, but, yeah, they, they are the arrow ones. And I, I have to say, I do love them. Really, really love them for any sort of lace-type work. Um because you know what it's like it's so easy to lose a stitch um and, and i just can't do it on, on the other ones that i've got which are all zings because i know i'd be losing stitches every time i put them down i mean i put these in my handbag there's my purse i'm going to move purse out and i come back and, and everything's still intact so they are brilliant but i don't know how many years old they are but they're, they're really good love them uh tracy is asking a question about the coffee bags um i have a i have some rington's coffee bags so uh depending on when you're ordering we will try and get one to you before you place the order um i haven't used them we drink more tea than coffee uh, i i found the coffee bags were actually they smelt really good oh that's right because i gave some to you didn't i yeah, the taste was really good drinking them black. Now, I, I let me just explain. I like my coffee like treacle. So I will have 
like I will drink espresso no problem so I can't drink what I term normal British coffee I just can't I love Italian coffee and that's that's all I drink but even I could drink the um it black it had such a lovely like taste Ooh. and aroma to it and even though no sense of smell once you put the milk in it I couldn't drink it because it was then too too weak um but black it was really good so I think they've got a really really good flavor to them without being bitter so um really really good okay. um yeah but I normally have I mean, put it this way, I am 38 points off my gold Starbucks card now, which means I can have a flat white with an extra espresso in it. So. Well, both uh, the ordinary coffee, the granules, both my aunt, who likes the coffee, and Richard, they both liked that one. They, they found yeah. it had a good coffee taste without leaving a yeah. bitter taste. So they liked yeah. that. I don't like bitter coffee. No, I don't but I do. either, Marion, no. and that's why I'm really fussy. So we usually have um, Lavazza um, beans that we yeah. find at home ourselves. Um, but uh, I, I, I'm I'm now going to try Rington's if it's that nice. Yeah, I, I'm I'm dreadful. I won't drink coffee in this country unless I really, really can't help it. Um, but on the continent coffee all the time because for some reason even if it's a jar of nescafe it's not bitter i don't know what they do to it but it ain't it isn't bitter but uh, greece greece is all nescafe but the coffee isn't bitter i don't um, i don't understand and I in france i i can drink their tiny little expensive. i knew it i knew it i knew it, I knew it. I knew it. It was on the tip of my tongue, and I wasn't going to say it, but someone else has. What? <laughs> well, what do you think they've gone to? That's the coffee. <laughs> no. No, I can't believe it's not butter. I can't believe it's not bitter. <laughs> <laughs> you said it three or four times, and it was coming out of my mouth, and I thought, no, I'm not going there. Not Saturday. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't just get us on something about food <laughs> <laughs> right uh we're gonna it's five two let's catch up on chat and then we'll we'll finish the day so Brigitte says um she sent pictures of the blanket yes i'm so sorry i don't know what's going on with my head this week i've forgotten lots and lots of stuff uh, I'm literally, I have them open on my phone. As soon as we finished, I'll put them on and everybody can see it on Monday. Um, Brigitte says uh, she orders their coffee from the House of Coffee and they deliver. It's gorgeous mocha. And then she says the mocha is not bitter. She cannot stand bitter coffee either. Uh, I get the Ernesto from there, which is but House of Coffee really good yes, so that's the one in peacock muse isn't it yeah yeah it's a little place that grinds their own and roasts their own coffee so they import the beans from all over the world you walk in this machine this contraption's uh -huh. often just roasting stuff i love and, the smell. Uh, yeah. lovely, it is lovely, lovely, smell. lovely it's a shame lovely. they're not on the high street can you imagine that wafting down the high street yeah. it gets blocked doesn't it because of that little uh, little alleyway but yeah, yeah gorgeous yeah they say when you're selling a house if you can have the coffee percolator going yeah. or the bread maker going it, it helps i did last time we we sold it to the first person that walked through the house had the coffee machine going Ooh. and every time they came round, i made sure the coffee was going as well. Oh, um right it's three minutes two i think now is probably an apt time to finish for the day if that's okay um so whatever yeah. you're up to this weekend uh, folks have a lovely weekend um and i'm not with you on monday i'm afraid uh unless i can get my break and then i'll log in for a little while but i won't be able to do the whole thing i will make sure there is music though of course um it's the facebook page to tell us what, what, the music on Monday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> i don't know what it is yet um, but do use the facebook page this weekend to tell us what you're up to if you're doing anything crafty this weekend um and i will if i don't see you monday i will see you wednesday ladies yes yes 
Well, I'll be here okay. on Monday. Can't Don't worry. I'll join you if you would like me to. I would love you to join me because then we can talk about. I can't believe it's not chocolate. <laughs> or I can't believe it's not something. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it's not wool. <laughs> See, that's a very good pitch for vegan food, I think. I can't believe it's not as long as it tastes like it. Well, yeah. It's like these biscuits. I, I, I didn't realise they were gluten-free and they taste absolutely gorgeous. I will go and look on the labels of the other biscuits for you and see if any of them are, are gluten-free as well, Angela. Thank you ever so much. So that is brilliant to know. And uh, yeah, so I ordered. I, I only know. ordered two packets, so I'm afraid. Don't I'm, worry. And they're limited, so um, I think you have to get. Don't worry. Quick. Don't worry. I, I'm I'm making ginger biscuits today. Homemade ginger biscuits, I think. So, yeah. Anyway, folks. Oh, right, sorry, right. Anyway, goodbye. If you don't go now, we'll be talking about food all Definitely. weekend. Um, <laughs> Oh. Bye bye. See you on Monday. Bye bye. With me and Marion. Bye. Bye.